friends, welcome back. Now we are going to prepare simplex table 3. We have already prepared simplex table 1 and simplex table 2. Now it is turn of simplex table 3. We need to prepare simplex table 3 because at the end of simplex table 2 we arrive at the conclusion that the solution x1 equals to 24, x2 equals to 0 is not the optimal one because still one value in the rows delta j is positive. Now what we will have to prepare R5 in the place of R3 and R6 in the place of R4. But what will be R5? It will be key row divided by key element. Row 3 divided by R3 divided by 3 by 2. That means we are going to multiply R3 by 2 by 3. Divided by 3 by 2 means multiplied by 2 by 3. Multiplied by inverse. So 2 by 3 R3. 0 into 2 by 3 is 0. 3 by 2 into 2 by 3 is 1. 1 into 2 by 3 is 2 by 3. Minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 is minus 1 by 3. 12 into 2 by 3 is 8. Now it is turn of R6. How to prepare R6? R6 is prepared at the place of R4. So R4 is the origin of R6. What to do with R6? E, uh, sorry, R4. R4 has 3 by 4 in the key column. So we have to multiply R6 by 3 by 4 and then subtract from R4. So R4 minus 3 by 4 R6. Sorry, R5, not R6. Because we are going to prepare R6. Yes, take the replaced row. Multiply it by the element which is in key column. And then subtract it from the original row. Original row of R6 is R4 minus key, sorry, element in the key column multiplied by the replaced row. So R4 minus 3 by 4 R5 becomes the formula of R6. Okay. Here R4 is 1 minus sign according to formula. 3 by 4 into 1 means 3 by, sorry, 3 by 4 into 0, 3 by 4 into R5, 0 is 0, so 1 is here. Now, in R4, it is 3 by 4 here, R4 means 3 by 4 minus sign, now 3 by 4 into 1, that is 3 by 4, it is 0, R4 means 0 here, minus sign according to formula, 3 by 4 into R5 means 3 by 4 into 2 by 3, respective column only, 3 by 4 into 2 by 3, 3, 3 cancel, 2 by 4 means 1 by 2. So it is 0 minus 1 by 2 means minus 1 by 2 here. Now R4 means 1 by 4 here. 1 by 4 minus sign 3 by 4 into R5 that means 3 by 4 into minus 1 by 3 3 3 cancel it is minus 1 by 4 1 by 4 minus minus 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 positive R4 here is 24 minus sign 3 by 4 into R5, 3 by 4 into 8, it is 6, 24 minus 6 is 18. Now what, first of all we have to write the solution variables. R3 was replacement row, so variable of R3 is removed, S1 is removed and its place will taken by x2 the variable of key column. So variable of key column was x2, s1 is removed, x2 is placed at its place 
and no change in the second row of previous table so x1 remains as it was now we can write the z sorry coefficients from z function of these two variables for x2 it was 35 for x1 40 now we can find out zj what is zj 35 into 0 0 40 into 1 1 0 40 into 1 40 0 plus 40 40 35 into 1, 35, 40 into 0, 0, 35 plus 0 is 35. 35 into 2 by 3, 70 by 3, minus 20. 70 by 3, minus 20. So it will be 70 minus 60 by 3, so it will be minus 10, sorry, positive 10 by 3. 10 by 3. Now 35 into minus 1 by 3 that is minus 35 by 3 plus 40 by 2 that means 20 minus 35 by 3 plus 20 it will be minus 35 plus 60 so it will be 25 by 3 25 by 3. 35 into 8, 280, 40 into 18, 720, 280 plus 720 means 1000. Now delta j is equal to cj minus zj. 40 minus 40, 0, 35 minus 35, 0, 0 minus 10 by 3, minus 10 by 3, 0 minus 25 by 3 minus 25 by 3. This is the case of maximization and now we have all delta j values which are 0 or negative. In case of maximization problem to have the optimal solution all delta j values should be 0 or negative. We have all delta values 0 or negative that means this is the optimal solution. What is the optimal solution? The optimal solution is x1 equals to 18, x2 equals to 8 and maximum z equals to 1000. This is the optimal solution of the given linear programming problem which is here. In the graphic solution, corner point B becomes the optimal solution lies at corner B where x1 is 18 and x2 is 8. If we substitute these values into our z function, the value of z function will come to 1000. Now compare the simplex method with the graphic method. In the first table, the solution of x1, x2 was 0, 0, 0, 0. Value of z function 0. In the second table, the solution was x1 equals to 24, x2 equals to 0, z value 960. That lies at point C in the graph. At the end of the third simplex table, we found the solution x1, 18, and x2 8 the z value of z function 1000 which lies at corner point b in the graphic method since this is the maximization problem all delta j values are zero or negative that means this is the optimal solution of a maximization problem now compare if we take the length of the lines as distance See what was the journey of the solution according to simplex method. It entered to the feasible region at point 0. This is the entry gate and reached point B via C. See the length of the distance covered and this was another possible journey from O to B via A. But simplex method didn't take that route because it was the longer one. See, this route is longer one as compared to this route. Simplex table takes the shortest possible route.
to reach the corner point with optimal solution but every time it takes entry to the feasible region through the corner point 0 0 whether it is part of feasible region in the graph or not that is immaterial that's all thank you very much